I'm Eric. I'm a game designer. And today we're going to review the game design of Haven. Haven is a 3D adventure survival game, which you can play either solo or co-op. You play the game as K and U. You're on this foreign planet and no one has been able to track you down for a while now. You're slowly running out of resources and there seems to be no way off the island. You're there experiencing the relationship between the two of them whilst attempting to survive and find a way out of here, back home. Haven manages to pull something off which is extremely difficult to do, namely representing the relationship between two lovers in a, in a realistic and relatable manner. They don't shy away from showing the ups and downs of a couple, the struggles they can go through when the circumstances become rough, but they also manage to show the intricacies of a relationship, the power dynamics between the characters, the roles they have in the household, as well as the vocabulary and expressions they use in relation to each other, which is part of their connection. A lot of games portray characters falling in love, characters who have a crush on someone, or characters who've just gotten into a relationship. But Haven dares to portray the complexities and the depth a relationship can have after one has been together with another person for years. What's interesting is that you are exploring these rules and invisible patterns between the characters from a third person perspective, gaining insight on their dynamics. Every time they spoke to each other, I was curious to see what they would say next, how they would joke to each other or fight back in an argument. Haven is about your connection with the main characters, or rather you imagining you're one of the main characters. You're so close to them in everything you do, Mechanically and task-wise, everything you're doing within the game supports your characters. It helps them overcome obstacles that prevent them from progressing or surviving. It is all so simple but so essential. You have to cook as the characters. You have to go out and find ingredients to cook. You're stuck on this island, you have to find a way out of here, because you're not going to survive forever. You need to repair your engine because it's broken. These mundane tasks would be considered fetch quests in other games, but in Haven this is the core gameplay loop. And they make it interesting by providing feedback on everything you do through the interaction between the characters. You are rewarded for performing a task by the way the characters respond to it. Perhaps it is a funny interaction, but it may also indirectly compliment you. Yes, finally they can cook some different food now, all because of you. This makes you feel good and excites you to keep on exploring and helping these characters. Not only to see their progression in achieving their goals, but also witnessing their character development. Haven is very clever about its co-op system and the message it sends with it. Surviving is about teamwork. Two is better than one. This is especially apparent in combat, in which combining moves is essential in being effective against the enemies. It is about bonding the characters together in everything you do, and the players in everything you do as well. You are both there to encounter the highs and the lows, and help get through it together. Haven's gameplay is very smooth. They provide you with a lot of agency to approach a situation whichever way you like. You can roam around and collect resources for as long as you want, or stay up a bit longer to cook some additional recipes and make meaningful choices within the dialogue options, which ensures you're not just reading text, but you're actively participating within the dialogue. This smoothness of an experience I just mentioned derives from the abstraction as a game. Haven removes everything that's unnecessary, which would clutter the experience, and instead narrows it down to the essential. My favorite design decision is the health bar in combat. There is no UI telling you how much HP you have left. Instead, the colors on your legs will represent how healthy you are as a character. This removes an additional UI that wouldn't have been necessary, but also understands and respects what this game is trying to achieve. This game is not about combat. Combat is one of the struggles you will have to go through in order to survive, but it is not the star of the show. It is you, the characters, who are. And you notice this. The characters gain a lot of attention, a lot of polish, within how sharp the writing is, 
how the characters not only have 2D expressions within the dialogue, but also have subtle 3D expressions relating to the situation. Haven shows how meaningful and important a relationship can be when you go through adversities. Having someone there to support you, doing it together, makes it work a whole lot easier. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Game Designer Place. Today I did another review video because of the Steam Game Festival currently going on. If you're interested in Haven, you can still play it right now. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you back in my next one. See you there, bye bye.